Hello. Getting kind of fed up with this now. Anyone else? Looks all romantic, doesn't it, on Instagram? All the snow and stuff. But then there's real life. I'd be clever and use the kettle and I made it too hot so I've had to come inside to put cold in because the cold tub's still frozen. Well, these are the last group of calves on milk and to be fair they could probably come off milk. Oh the trough's full never mind. Be tasty! Said it's not as cold as it has been because like there's not even a lot of ice on there. You can see how the boiler has been braying away the last couple of days. We've literally been putting it on as much as possible. Um, and obviously you can see the heat from the room is just, it's completely different. <laughs> this is one of the main problems when it's icy. Illustrated here by the fabulous Inkle Winkle. The troughs are frozen. Where's the water? No water, my now. The biggest problems that we're facing at the minute is just everything's frozen and it's an absolute pain in the ass to go around defrosting all the troughs and breaking all the ice um it's just oh fed up of it now ready for it to be over don't need a gym spider cat spider cat 50 Beast now lives inside. Is the mighty case gonna let us down today? Like it very badly let us down yesterday. It's just embarrassing. I mean, what do you do? Do you just pretend it didn't happen or do you post it all over YouTube? I went with post it all over YouTube. Who left the back window open? Who would do this to me? I'm gonna go and do like, look at the voucher sign, but look at these cute little things. If I was on TikTok, I'd call them something else, but I'm not allowed because it's YouTube and you can't swear. And Roy tells me off. To be fair, Roy telling me off is probably worse than YouTube telling me off. I'll give you another if you don't tell him. Can you be quiet? Don't know where he is. Can't run it fancy. Not gonna notice. Quietly. You'll get me in trouble. Shh. Day I gave her an injection, you saw me to 407, and this is it now. That one, it's running away. She seems, he seems way better, way better. Super pleased. I actually just abandoned this yesterday after our little try to pull in exercise. It needs uh, defrosting and shifting. In the sun. Why is there a square on the window? Why is there a square on the window? The sun hasn't come up yet. It's over there somewhere. Ah, oh, it's the glass. What? That's crazy. What a difference the sun hitting something makes.
now resembles <laughs> instead of a slush puppy. Can I even say the word? <laughs> Can I say? <laughs> so I can't say. <laughs> what? Okay. The cow muck represents cow muck and not a slush puppy. Says Roy. <laughs> Minus two. It was yesterday morning when it was minus five. Kind of pleased things are on the up, oh, down, 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 up, oh, up, oh, down. Getting warmer, they're getting warmer. To the point that every time we put a new implement on the bobcat, because of the, the plate being so cold and sitting flush, it just froze to it. And then we'd need to defrost it every time we change the implement, which for the morning's work is, well, one, two, three, four times. It's a pain in the ass. So it's four times we had to go to the tap, get some hot water, bring it outside because all the taps were frozen outside. It was just proper pain in the bottom. Which was pain in the bottom? I was just saying like we have a really good routine we do in the morning and we get things done as efficiently and as fast as possible he's quite like that and when things like this happen it just throws your routine out the window and things take twice as long as what they should do um and it annoys Roy immensely more so than me <laughs> he thrives on a lack of routine so I'm gonna take some bales out to the sheep because I can't in can out the way appreciate my happy smiling face this morning bringing in more sauce what are you doing here again she's always here a work helper okay you can't come with me i don't think you'll enjoy it right sit here then sit with me inky like what is your problem you're not coming with me you don't even want to and the, the trailer's stuck to the floor i don't want to ask for help the trailer's unstuck to the floor it's your father you know that you would call these idiot bricks because they're hard work. They're hard work to make, they're hard work to lug about. But do you know what? This time of year, when you've got sheep and you want to take a few bales out to the field, you can't do without them. You actually can't do without them. They are handy as hell. Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't nearly nearly as Amanda Owen as I wanted it to be. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. normality let's give the girls some food <laughs> jokes aside it's bloody cold that's cold poor girls it's chilly it's chilly recognize me without this on that's better Take some scenic pictures and take our time and annoy your dad. I think we should. I think we should. Thou shalt not look a gift horse in the mouth. The, the bad weather, the cold weather is not doing very much for the tups. The, one of the teaser tups is lame in here and also um, Jacob the tup is a little bit um, tender on his feet. I wouldn't say he's lame, but he's really tender. So I'm gonna um, look at him though. <laughs> I just love them, honestly, I do. They make me so happy. If I could get in trouble and spend all day just like rolling around in fields with sheep, I totally would. I totally would. Even though he's just so ugly. It's the cutest thing, I love him. Those there, they're the lambs that I bred um, the first year I got sheep. And they are uh, Texel cross Dutch spotted. So that, that is a Dutch spotted top. And then Texels are like these things here. 
and that's what pops out. Very fluffy monster, just ignore him, pretend he isn't there. He was a very large mistake on my part. Charlotte should have listened. Charlotte never listens. I'm reaping the rewards though. <laughs> Like, are you even for real? Come on! My least friendly sheep. Um, they are so different in breed, I can't even tell you. So, these are all the clins. And as a breed, they're not as friendly as the Texels. Weirdly, they've all been trekked exactly the same. And yeah, you can see they're really wary. They stay the distance. And um, if you stand up, they jump. They're a completely different kettle of fish. So when you're dealing with them, like with regards to lambing and stuff like that, they don't necessarily need any help. Uh, they're better at rearing lambs on their own. They're generally more hardy. They have better feet, so they don't need as much attention that way. Things like uh, they do, they are prone to a prolapse, which is something that isn't brilliant for us, um, but it just is a breed thing. And they're fairly bullshy in a pen. As in like, if you're stood in a gateway and they want through it, they'll literally dive and they'll be up here, um, right past you kind of thing. They're a lot more flighty as a breed absolutely shocking for training the dog shocking in every way uh, they set themselves up to the dog um they don't they don't run away they confront him um i wonder if they'd be different with the collie that'd be something interesting to see when nell comes to be trained whether they, they act differently with a collie um or whether wind's just too loud and in the face and that's why they're going for him he says just take that up is he for real? Is he actually for real? Oh yeah, so yesterday we're sliding around and slipping all over and then there's me. What is this? If it goes wrong, it's Charlotte's fault. No. I wasn't being dramatic. That's the end of the sentence. Hi, play What a tune! What a tune! Still haven't changed out of B1 and keeping them. <laughs> and these like really boring jobs that you're doing every day that I never show you, because they're really boring. Still need doing, and they take extra long time. Put some lights on so you can see. I can see, but so you can see. Gray. Nelly Gray Gray. <laughs> oh, it's like the Lion King. Some kisses. <coughs> some kisses. <laughs> this dog's trying to get up there. Yellow Peril IV Cubbies has just passed its test because it was doctored up by Big Roy, to be fair. Names on it. I didn't even know that. On it, because I can't drive it. Oh wait, neither can you. <laughs> so me and Roy do not have a license to drive this. Big Roy does, um, and Roy's brother Kyle does, but yeah, me and Roy can't drive it. Um, so it's only got till um, 31st of the 3rd, 2024, like left on the operator's license. Operator's license runs for five years. So that'll pretty much take us to where we want to be when we have transitioned to dairy and it'll just be a different job altogether, to be honest. Um, we won't be ferrying beef cows up and down on Staymore and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think it'll do us for as long as it needs to. I know it's called a skid steer, but like the skidding and then the skidding. <laughs> it is like an ice ring here. Roy has decided 
He's taken the executive decision that me and my YouTubers take far too long to do anything. So he's doing it for me to show that he can do it faster. Isn't he speedy? Beautiful. Superbly executed. Thank <laughs> you.